This is Dave Allen. I'm good at Geek, and I'll set up a document here in Pages, and this is Pages on the iPad. Now, the way I've got it set up is that I've got these areas over on the left-hand side there showing the pages, and I've got a number of sections there. Now, this one here is one section, and then this bit here is another section, and then this here is another section, and then this here is another section. And what I've done here is I've coloured the pages, so this section is coloured blue pages, this with grey pages and this section here with white pages. Um, this section here is part of that uh, section from page 3 through to 6. And then this one here is the um, front pages. So we've got the um, this bit here where I've got a picture on the front page. Now this one here I don't want to have any um, headers on there. I don't want to have any page numbers or anything like that. And uh, that you see that's um, page 2 there. You see there's nothing in this um, section here either. But I do have page numbers starting from this page here, which is uh, page number three, where I've got my table of contents. If you want to have your uh, page numbers and your page headers and footers different, then you need to use sections. OK, so this is how we put sections in. We're at the end of this chapter two now. I want to put a new section for chapter three. So I tap on this at the bottom here and I can insert a section break. So after that, I'll be starting with something new, with a different section. Document Setup. And go to Section. This section will put it in a different colour, so we just know that it's a different section for the moment. And I'll put that in a horrible green. We should be able to set this up with some numbers as well. We go to Page Numbering. And we want to continue from the previous page. Match Previous Section is the obvious thing. Continue from Previous Page. If you turn off match previous section, then you get a chance to put some different numbering in. So this one here, we could uh, start at a different number, so we could have put in a different... Um, we want to start it at uh, number 13 there, for lucky. We've got page 13 there, but that wouldn't make any sense because the last page is number 6. So we'll just do match previous section. And go to page numbering and continue from previous page. And now it's got page 7, and that is as it should be. So you have a number of options there with your new sections each time you start a new section. In that first section, I don't want to have any um, headers or footers. I don't want any page numbers in there, so that's OK. So in this section here, I want to have some page numbers. And as you can see, the page numbers I've got set up here. Let's just um, delete that first of all, so I've got no page numbers in there. So if I click on that, click on page numbers, and then I want it with a number and... I don't actually want it with a number. What I want, what I want to have is I want to have it with the um, Roman numerals. But I'll just put that in there for the moment. Okay, so let's go through to this one here. See, now I've got, to, instead of the Roman numerals, I've got the uh, ordinary numerals. So let's go to uh, this section. And in the section, we want to look at page numbering. I'll change that from 1, 2, 3 to the Roman numerals in lowercase. That one there, so the uh, little i, and two i's, and three i's, and so on. So you see now then I've got uh, page numbers in there for this uh, second section and they're going through one, two, three and that is all the front matter. So all that there is the uh, front matter and I don't want the proper page numbers in there. I want the uh, other ones there, the um, Roman numerals. And this one here, this section, look, um, there's no colour in there at the moment. Let's put a colour in there just so we can see which section we're talking about. This one here, look, uh, it's a bit, uh, a bit yucky that but still. So now you can see in this one here, I've got the page numbers in there and I've not got it hidden on the first page. Let's go to the next section here. So in this section here, uh, left and right are different on this one here. So um, I've got um, page number on the outside of this right hand page. And then when it comes down to the left hand page, left hand side, I've got page number over on the left hand side there. So. Now let's go down to this uh, this section here, which is the last section. You can see I've got a back, blue background on this one here. And on this one here, I've decided that I'm going to I'm going to have motorcycle there. And at the moment, this is just on the left page. Let's put uh, riding on there, so you can see that um, you can have something different on either side of these here. Click on done, and click on done again. On the left side of the page, I've got page four in the um, bottom left hand corner. And then over on this side here, I've got page five on this uh, here as well. So it's perfectly possible to set up your page numbering just the way that you want it within pages on the iPad. You just have to go into this uh, section here 
make sure that in uh, the um, document settings you've got the heading and footer set is clicked to be on and I've got it set up for facing pages because it's a book and I suppose if you're having it with different with um, non-facing pages let's just turn that off there so you see now I've got just um, one le set of pages over on the uh, left hand side there so chapter one I've got a um, chapter one in the, the header and still got chapter one there still got chapter one in there and page numbers at the bottom page number over on the right hand side there that's working perfectly let's go into the next section and in the next section we've got the um, page number on the left hand side there and on the next page it's over on the right hand side I could even have um, A, B and C if I want in there and so on I can have it continue from the previous page which I do want it to happen like that because I've got uh, uh, chapter 2 continuing on with chapter 1 in chapter 1 I had it uh, not continuing, continuing from the pre previous page okay so that's how easy it is to set up headers and footers in pages on iOS it's possible, you can do it.